the hardest thing is getting up in the morning and getting started. Yeah. You know, it's it's with every human all around the planet. Yeah. It's the same shit with yeah. so either you're in the US, India, Nepal, same thing. bloody Bhutan, or even if you're sitting now in Afghanistan, it's the same thing with yeah. every single human being. Not yeah. just with working out, but with anything that you do in life, yeah. right? What do you tell people, your students? W- what piece of advice do you give them? Then nothing. Uh, you know, uh, the one thing I always tell people is motivation's overrated. It is overrated. It's the most abused word in the English dictionary. I'm not motivated enough to do this. I'm not motivated enough to work hard today. I'm not motivated enough to eat mm-hmm. well today. Are you motivated to go to work every day? You're not. Are you motivated to take care of your kids every day? You're not. You still do it. You have to do it, right? Uh, you want to put food on the plate? You better go to work. Um, and and that's just the way people need to start looking at training as well. They're, they're, I mean, if I didn't train every day, I wasn't motivated. Dude, I'd be missing a lot of days of training, right? Yeah. Sometimes you need to get the work done. And uh, that's what people need to understand. Uh, there are days when I don't want to go to the gym and I don't want to train. You know, there are days when I just want to sleep in bed and, and not worry about kind of training. There are days when I just want to eat everything under the sun. Yeah, It's fine. It happens to everybody, the best of them, right? Uh, it's, you know, I, I read, I had the pleasure and the privilege of, of meeting Michael Phelps, who I think oh. is, uh, is phenomenal. And his whole life story and everything that he's done. And he said something when, when, we, when we were there and, and I heard him say this. And he said, you know what? Uh, it's, there's a difference between a good athlete and a great athlete. Mm. A great athlete will do things even when they don't want to do them. Right? You put that down and you think about it. It's so true. right? He's like, he, he actually said this. And he said this in a number of interviews. He, he went through, a, I think, a thousand day period where he didn't miss a single session yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what makes him who he is that's what makes him great i mean look at any of these athletes look at anyone forget athletes look at anyone who's achieved anything in life it doesn't just fall in their lap they've got to work for it yeah uh, look at michael jordan i think the last dance is one of my favorite documentaries the best uh, and i as a kid I never woke up early in the morning, but to watch the Chicago Bulls play in 96, 97, 98, I would get up every morning just to watch him play because he was just magic. It, it, was, it was brilliant watching him. And when you look back and you look at his mindset and the way he kind of psyched himself every single time to perform, I mean, that's genius. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He purposely... He'd purposely make up stories about people saying he wasn't good enough. He'd purposely make up stories and pick a fight. I'm not saying you pick a fight every single time, but I'm just saying you've got to get, and and you think he was motivated to train every single day. You think Michael Phelps is motivated to go into the pool for six hours every single day and yeah. do the same lap back and forth. He's not. He does it because of, well, where he wants to be in life. So you know what? Sometimes you've got to do the, do the things you don't enjoy doing and it's fine. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Yeah, no, no shadow of a doubt on that. I look at uh, from uh, towards my part of the planet. I've got the mountaineers to look at. Oh yeah. You know, uh, I don't have the oceans. I go out and look at the mountaineer friends that I have. Yeah. I will go out and uh, climb Everest. Some climb the tallest peaks in the world for it's their profession. It's a lonely place. It's their profession exactly. It's a very lonely place, and you. Yeah. I've had the uh, privilege of sitting down with uh, friends who've climbed the tallest mountain in the world, some of the hardest mountains in the world, like K2. And when I when I ask them on air and off air, you know, like what goes through your brain when you're yeah. when you're climbing? You're all alone. Yeah. There's nobody there. Yeah. You have, uh, of course, you have your friends to help you out, but at the end of the day, it's all you. And when you uh, get your one leg up and you're moving forward, what what goes through your mind? And uh, off air, I, when I've talked with them and on air, when I've talked with them, it's just the sheer motivation that they have to get to the apex. I, I don't understand it, but I don't know what kind of fire they have within them. Same thing with Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, I'm sure. It's, it's the fire that they have within them f- to succeed. And not everybody needs to have that amount of fire. Yeah, you don't. Not everyone needs to be an Olympic athlete who wins 20 plus medals. Uh, that's not That's not that, but... You know what? Uh-huh. I think the one thing people need to understand that going through life itself is an achievement, right? 
uh yeah. and and you've got to prep for life sometimes you've got to you've got to train for life um and and life will take you through a lot of ups and downs and and the physical part if you're physically prepared you will help yourself mentally the only thing that helped exactly. me as a lawyer was the only thing that helped me go through those 20 hour days in front of a laptop every single day working and working and working was the fact that i got 20 minutes to myself where i would go out and do something i love doing yeah played my favorite music had a structure it made me a confident human being as i've been a very shy kid growing up uh i still am very shy i don't talk to people that much the one thing that made me confident was the fact that i trained and it affected my life in more ways yeah. than just the way i looked um uh, and i think that's what people need to understand and when they kind of see that they'll make change if you love what we are doing make sure that you subscribe and turn on notification thank you very much for watching us on youtube make sure that you also listen to us on spotify this program is brought to you by via studios